13 of the fantasy football season, and here's a few running backs. I have his sleepers this week. The first guy, Ronald Jones of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Ronald Jones, he's been an afterthought for the most part this year. But the last few weeks here, he's actually got two touchdowns in the last two games as Jones. And right now, he's still available in 78% of fantasy leagues. We know Leonard Fournette, he's the undisputed number one back over there in Tampa, especially last week where he had four touchdowns and 40-plus fantasy points So the last few weeks here for Ronald Jones. Week 11 versus the Giants, eight carries, 33 yards, and a touchdown. And week 12 at the Colts, seven carries, 37 yards, and a touchdown. So this week, another good matchup for Ronald Jones and the Bucks at the Atlanta Falcons, who we know can't stop anybody, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to running backs on the season. So right here, I could see this ball game getting out of hand. I could see Jones getting eight to 10 carries, and it wouldn't surprise me to see him get a goal line stamper in this one. So right now, if you're very desperate at running back, I got Ronald Jones as a sleeper this week. The next running back I have as a sleeper option in Walter of the New York Jets. So Walter scored a rushing touchdown in last week's game, and we know Michael Carter is going to be out a few more weeks. So in the only action we've seen Walter this year, week 12 at Houston, Nine carries, 38 yards, a touchdown. So the Jets here, they've been using three running backs for the most part. Tevin Coleman obviously got work. Walter got that goal line touchdown and still had nine carries. And we know Ty Johnson, even though he didn't do anything really in that Week 12 game. So right now, Walter, he's available still in 100% of fantasy leagues. And this week here, it's a pretty decent matchup versus the Eagles that give up the ninth most fantasy points. To running back so would it be surprising to me if Walter gets 10 to 12 touches in this game and 60 yards possibly it wouldn't I think because this game I could see being a tight ball game with the Eagles and the Jets especially after we saw last week the piss poor performance by that Eagle offense so Austin Walter he's out there in tons of leagues and if you're totally desperate he's definitely a guy you just dart throw and put in your lineup as a sleeper and the third and final running back I have as a sleeper options DJ Dallas of the Seattle Seahawks at DJ Dallas. He's been getting more work over the last few weeks here. We know Chris Carson's hurt with the neck injury. We know Rashad Penny's not 100%. And Alex Collins, he hasn't been producing over the three, four weeks of the season. So DJ Dallas, the last two games where he's gotten some work. Week 11 versus Arizona. Four carries, 25 yards, a touchdown, and a catch for two yards. And week 12 at Washington, three carries, four yards, but added five catches. 27 yards so we know obviously that Collins ain't much of a pass catcher out of the backfield and DJ Dallas last season a few games filling in for Chris Carson I thought he was pretty decent to be honest but we'll see what he could do this week he versus the 49ers that give up the 15th most fantasy points to running backs and if the Niners do get off to a good start Dallas might come in there from dump offs and catching the ball out of the backfield so right now he's available as Dallas in 94% of fantasy leagues, and he's definitely a sleeper option this week, so that's a few running backs. I have his sleeper options for week 13 of the fantasy football season.